Hey everyone, this is Beth Barling, and this is our premiere Wild Manor installment. Uh, this week we are speaking with, I am speaking with, um, Anne Marie Moore. So, Anne Marie Moore, you may know her name already because Anne Marie is my partner in the Soul Magic Garden. Um, this is, that's our yoga, meditation, and spirit container. And you'll hear a little bit more about that in a few weeks. A little bit about co-creation, a little bit about being in alignment, having alignment of purpose, and um, a little bit more about what yoga and meditation and spiritual practice has done for both of us um, independently and how it has helped us um, to cultivate um, purpose and service in this, in this life. Um, but this week I wanted to kick off with a little bit about Anne Marie's own personal brand of magic. So when Anne Marie and I met and we went over the different things that she does, um, I think what we witnessed the most was the alchemy of what Anne Marie brings to life. So um, alchemy is the transformation of matter. In historical times, alchemy was about transitioning things to gold or maybe creating these um, immortality elixirs. There's a lot of magical, beautiful things. But at its core, alchemy is transformation of anything, transformation of matter, transformation of energy, and that's what Anne Marie does. So Anne Marie is a teacher, she is a healer, she is a crystal specialist, she does, she is a phenomenal uh, green witch and does a lot with herbology and growing her own herbs and making her own tinctures and tonics. And she also owns a beauty salon <laughs> on top of everything else. So she is always um, performing this alchemy of beauty, whether it's her home, whether it's herself, or whether it's her clients or the people that she's working with, um, she alchemizes their inner beauty to life. Um, so I'd like to introduce our first installment of Wild Mannered with Anne Marie Moore. Thank you. Right now I am currently trying to create beauty within the home. Um, we have some projects happening on the main mm -hmm. floor upstairs. I've been in the house for 15 years, I was married, I kind of gave, um, so sorry. Hmm. I didn't know who was your friend of mine. <laughs> uh, you know, I gave some creative freedoms to my husband at the time, which weren't aligned with mm -hmm. really what I wanted, and then even upon um, dissolving that relationship, I sat here for a, a while looking at the home, and it, decided like I can just paint that mm -hmm. I can just do this mm -hmm. like I do like making something taking it from oh my god is that your cat oh, that is my the cats. cats are coming in we I have tried crazy to keep them cats out and they were like no thank you we're yeah and now they're gonna get really loud uh -huh. um but yeah I like taking something from one state and making it more beautiful making it better and what I have found for me I've always been a gas ass. Are we allowed to say that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, flitting from one thing to the next and staying home, I was a little bit uneasy in my own home. Mm -hmm. yeah. So to be able to create that space where it is uh, comfortable mm -hmm. and safe and peaceful is very important to me. Mm -hmm. And I am diving in now to make some changes that I've been wanting for a long time, you know, and I've made a commitment to try to align my words with my actions. So that is perfect for conscious living mm -hmm. because I'm an external processor. I talk, 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 mm -hmm. talk, and then sometimes the execution I may fall a little bit short on, so. Right. That's so funny. There's so much energy in here right now. Yes. So sorry. I will turn that off. Um, so yeah. So the alchemy of one's home. That's such a big deal because I remember like when we first met, one of the things that uh, my, one of my guides said to me was, you're not actually living in your home because I haven't decorated anything yet. And I hadn't, and that's okay if you haven't decorated anything. I didn't decorate anything or move any of my furniture in or open any of my boxes because I still wasn't like my heart wasn't in my home. Mm -hmm. And it's so important to have a home base. It is. I think that my home base was my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and maybe it was, it takes me a little bit longer than most, but I do believe in perfect time, perfect form. And I think that there's different um, journeys mm -hmm. that we must 
travel to come back to the self. Yep. So that's kind of the path that I've been on, especially well, my whole life actually, but very consciously over the last decade. Now that's not to say that I'm awake all the time. I fall, you know, it's never ending, but I'm happy to be here now doing what I'm doing mm -hmm. because, you know, this last year collectively, a lot of people um, had a really hard time being home for various reasons. Yep. You know, there's a lot of different reasons that somebody might have that issue. Um, and I found comfort in my space. And I think that everybody needs to be able to create a space that brings them comfort, even if it's just a corner. Mm -hmm. So. So the importance of creating space, the importance of creating beauty and nurturing and all those pieces in the space that you live in. I'm in the kitchen a lot. Home. The kitchen is the central space, and that's the next project that's going to come because I spend so much time there. Uh, for a lot of years, I was like a Pier 1 junkie, right. and I was collecting things, collecting things, trying to make it. And simplicity really came to the forefront in the last few years for me where I realized that maybe I was a potential hoarder. I have meaning to me to create an energy. I have an altar on the other side, which does not need to be taped. Um, but yeah, trying to really focus on placement and a little bit of simplicity and then bringing in the support that I feel that I receive from the crystals. Crystals speak very deeply to me. I also do crystal healing. I do that on myself as well as others. So that's just one of my tools that speaks very deeply and helps me to create the space that I need. Include smudging. Yes, including what? Smudging. Smudging, yes. I smudge so constantly. You said placement. So can we talk a little bit about placement? Because the placement of crystals and the placement of, you know, not only the pieces that are on your altar, but the placement of things around your house. What would you um, I think depending on what you want, what energy you're looking to promote within that room would be the first thing you need to, to figure out really what it is that you want to bring into that space. Um, I have a lot of shunjite around here. Shunjite is a wonderful clear. It also helps to block the EMF frequencies. Mm -hmm. So um, we all have a cell phone, we all have smart TVs, and there's electronics. So I have a shunjite in front of the cable box. I have a shunjite over there. I have selenite everywhere. Selenite is more of the angelic realm and accessing those higher realms. Mm -hmm. And then I also, you can see the pillars of quartz in that particular area. That is to amplify the energy of clearing healing rose quartz is self-love and promoting love and then I also have some black tourmaline there for protection and serious grounding I am an individual that needs some serious grounding yep. so quartz is an amplifier but really if you wanted to start and that's something that speaks to you I would figure out what do you want that space to be if it's your bedroom and you're looking for peaceful rest and and calm and potentially love. Um, selenite is beautiful. Selenite's beautiful anywhere. Yes, yes it is. Selenite's beautiful and that's a self-clearing stone by the way so you can clear your stones on a charger of selenite. Um, that's an important thing to note that our crystals have to be cleared. Most of them do, yes. So yes. we can talk a little bit about that but that in case you're not sure about what that means that's an important piece because I have so much selenite in my house because I'm literally <laughs> cleaning me, my home, my family. Same. <laughs> like a 30-pound chunk of selenite mm -hmm. by my bedroom. Yes. You know, and if I have restless sleep, sometimes I'll just place my hand on it and it calms me. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you want for the room. You know, then we can get into, I've dabbled a little bit with feng shui and getting the little grid to put out. I wouldn't say that I have mastered that, mm -hmm. but I do try to take different things into account. And then also just really trusting what feels good in your body. Our bodies are very wise. And for me, some of those things that I was collecting all of those years was clutter. Mm -hmm. And that was very representative of what was happening in my mind space. Right, right. That's a great 
idea. So what would you recommend in the world of crystals for mind busyness, that clutter that's always going on in the mind? Would you say grounding stones or do you have like a... Tuition. Okay, let's pretend we're talking about me specifically. Uh -huh. yeah. Walker stones, um, black stones, we have mm -hmm. obsidian, you have tourmaline, you have shungite is also a grounding stone. I like jasper. Jasper comes in a little I bit softer. Jasper. And those black, heavier stones, they can pack a big punch. Mm -hmm. Jasper is a little bit of a softer, grounding mm -hmm. energy. Um, agate is another mm -hmm. one that you can tap into. And of the earth, I have it's from the hills of South Dakota is a beautiful orange stone. And I am sorry, everyone, I have a block. Orange and white, I have a ring I can show you. It's something canyon stone. I'm sorry, I have a block. Mm -hmm. So I use the shunjite near all of my electronics. Yes. And I use it for protection around yes. the home, right? Yes. It's good for protection. Absolutely. And I have, um, what's the black one for nightmares that I put underneath my kids' beds? Um, Is that obsidian? Yes. Yes. Obsidians. Yes. So there's obsidians everywhere mm -hmm. to, for restful sleep, I guess, grounding all that energy out of them while mm -hmm. they sleep. And it's a, obsidian's a huge protector okay. field, as does shungite. Um, hematite is a deflector. Okay. So hematite is magnetic. Uh, it's silvery in its form, and it's it repels. Yeah. I love that. Mm-hmm. I love that. So mm -hmm. snowflake obsidian, I think, is my favorite. They're snowflake so obsidian's pretty. beautiful. Yeah. It is beautiful. It's a little one because I think they're a little pricier than the regular ones. They're not always, um, well, I guess they're, they're fairly common. <clears throat> Pardon me, common. Um, but yeah, they have a Apache Tear Obsidian. You have Snowflake Obsidian. There's different variations. I could talk about crystals all day long. I know. I know. There's so she much says to she's learn. She's not a professional of grid. She's gridded my whole house. I like gridding. It's very um, meditative mm -hmm. to me. I can sit here and just grid and grid and grid and yeah. grid. Yeah. And for those that aren't familiar with gridding, you can get a culmination of stones together and connect them with your energy, a wand. You can use your finger. You don't need any special to stones to be able to emanate what that energy is that you want in the room. So uh, what is on my altar right now is I have a smoky quartz generator which I don't know if you want to, you can grab one of Which those, ones? any one of the generators so that people could see what a generator is, the white, the quartz, yep. I don't want to mess up while we're on camera. It's fine, I'll redo it when we're done. <laughs> this is a generator, usually has a point, sometimes they're double terminated, but this one happens to lay flat, so you can have quartz to enhance mm -hmm. any stone with yep. within it, if, if what you want, you know, and then you just state your intentions. But there's a lot of beautiful things. But yeah, currently that's smoky quartz over there. I have some um, citrine for abundance. Yep. Love that. So crystals in the home. You talked a little bit about smudging. Mm, I'm a big smudger. Yes. So I love that. So I think, um, talk to me a little bit about the herbs that you're using to smudge. Yeah. I absolutely love, um, and I found a great vendor when I went into South Dakota. I visited the Pine Ridge Reservation, which is a Lakota reservation, and it was the sweetest, most beautiful smelling sage, because sage can be pungent, and not everybody's going to love the smell of white sage. Um, so I found a vendor out there that I can order the sage from. I also use Palo Santo, which is a sacred wood. Yeah. Um, that tends to be a little bit heavier in the clearing. Native Americans have been smudging. Ancient civilizations have been smudging to clear space forever. <laughs> Hi. Oh, yeah. We've got cats everywhere. Um, that's Thor. He's a beast. Um, I like sweet grass. But I also like to make bundles, which right. we have done, right. um, with herbs that are in my garden. Rosemary is wonderful for luck and protection. I grow my own lavender. Um, I have grown sage. I have not grown white sage. 
White sage is really hard to grow, isn't it? Or they do better out west. Right. And, um, yeah, mostly west. And with the shortage of white sage, do you think, like, how do you recommend that people, like, embrace smudging here on the east? Smudge. Does it have to be white sage? No. Am I called to that? I am, as a lot of people are. Um, use it sparingly mm -hmm. with gratitude. And just be thankful that you, you have this within your possession to, to utilize within your home. I, in a room, change immediately upon smudging. Yeah, white sage is great, but I love Palo Santo. Like yeah. when I go into my Iona salon, when I go into the salon, I do book work on Mondays. I smudge everything because there's a lot of energy that comes in right you've got all different people all walks of life everybody's going through something everybody wants to talk about it all that energy is being sputtered that's a space that needs to be cleansed regularly right, right? just to try to promote a peaceful more harmonious environment so